In this video I'm going to show you how to format the budget so it looks like what you see here. So we've got some bolding, some indentation, borders, color, and uh, formatting for the numbers. So I'm going to show you that right from where we left off in the last video. Open your budget sheet and if you haven't saved it, save now. And let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is decrease the zoom here. Just because I'm not interested in looking at the numbers really closely, I'm going to be selecting a lot of cells at the same time. It doesn't really make sense for me to have it zoomed in. We're going to select the range of months in our budget and right align them. So selecting them all using that big puffy white plus arrow cursor and selecting them. With those selected, I'm going to hold down the control button on my keyboard and select cell A1 and the range from A3 to A7, the range A9 to A17. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and select A19, 21, 23, and 24. So I'm using control to select all those individual cells and what I'm going to do now is bold them. We're going to indent the types of income under income here. And I've selected A4 to A6 and now I'm going to use the indent option. And I'll do the same under expenses. We're going to increase the title, which is in cell A1, to 18 point font. And we will merge and center this over the range A1 to E1. So selecting that range, clicking on Merge and Center in the Alignment option. Let's change the background color of that. We'll do it here under Theme Colors. And let's select the third option under the dark blue. We'll set the text to be white, just for the heading. Next we can see that in column A there are some there's some text that's hidden. The easiest way for us to show that text is to just put our cursor between column A and B at the top and double click. That will expand the column. You can also right click on any column and set the column width. You can select multiple columns and collectively set their column width. But for the purpose of this uh, example, we're just going to be double clicking between each column get the best fit for that column. Okay, next let's add some borders to our spreadsheet. So we're going to add borders around all of our data here. Again, I'm holding control and I'm only selecting certain rows and columns that have data in it. So to, by holding control I'm able to just select a few of the rows, not all of them. And then under the font group here in the Home tab, I'm going to select All Borders. And let's save it there. So finally we are going to format the numbers here so that we can show that they are indeed um, currency values. So I'm selecting the range B4 all the way to E21 and then using control I also selected B23. And let's go here to our number group and select accounting. Finally, if you haven't done that already, make sure that B24 is set to percentage and we can increase and decrease the number of decimals here. Okay, save. Let's learn how to print this spreadsheet. So under the file we have the print options and we can set up our printing here by using a page setup. So by default it prints the active sheets with no scaling. We can play around a little bit with that. Let's go right into our page setup. Here we can add headings, footing, footers, margins. Um, let's Let's uh, adjust the scaling here so our, our uh, spreadsheet shows a little bit larger on the printout. We can add a header, a custom header here, and you can add in, for example, the date, 
just by adding that. You can add in the file name, so just giving you a few examples. And then you can customize the footer. Let's say you're going to put your name here on the bottom. And we can look at the sheet and we can see if we want to put grid lines, black and white. You can add the row and column headings. You can see that the preview doesn't actually update like real time. And once you select these things and click OK, then the preview will update. So I added in the guidelines, which is basically like you can see here the dotted lines of the borders. Rather than borders, it just shows the dotted lines. I'm going to remove that now. So back into Sheet. I don't want those guidelines, nor the row and column headings. And click OK, and it gets rid of those. So if I want to print to PDF or save as PDF, I can do that really easily in Excel by selecting Adobe PDF, printing, and it will ask me what I want this file to be saved as. Let's just go ahead and click Budget and Save. And here's the budget in a PDF format.